All right, now I'm going to show you two pretty important prairie species of grasses, uh, both for forage and wildlife values. Uh, growing right here next to me with this kind of wide, broad spreading seed head is switchgrass. Switchgrass is a really important forage species for livestock. Uh, makes really good hay, makes really good uh, food for cows and other livestock. Uh, for wildlife, the seeds are really important, really high in protein for uh, songbirds, quail, basically anything that likes to eat seeds, small mammals and such. If you have the dead seed head, it's pretty difficult to confuse with other species. There's not very many that have this really broad, open type seed head called a panicle, which is how it gets its name. Its scientific name is Panicum virgatum. And that's how it gets its name. It's that really broad panicle type seed head. The green plant will sometimes have that bluish green tint like our blue stems or another species called Indian grass. But really the way you tell the difference is, is when you pull that leaf down, right where the leaf extends off of that stem, there's a really short, really dense uh, layer of, of hairs that extend usually an inch down that, that blade of that leaf. A uh, big blue stem will have similar type hairs, but they'll be a little bit longer, a little bit more coarse. Uh, Indian grass will have hairs that extend all the way up the stem, but usually stop at that first leaf or, or that first node. So switchgrass has this big open panicle when it's mature. When it's green, has a really dense layer of hairs coming off that leaf. But just for reference, I have in my hand, right next to it, Indian grass. When it's mature, it has a really more of a spike seed head. It doesn't spread out near as much as uh, the switchgrass. And it'll kind of have a yellowish hue or a yellowish tint to it in the fall. In some cases, there are Indian grass that doesn't have any hair extending up that leaf, but the Indian grass has a really distinct ligule. That's just a scientific term for this little membranous thing that extends off of that leaf blade where it comes off of that stem. Some people say it looks like a tiny set of rabbit ears. Some people say it looks like a pair of Native American feathers that come off the, the headband. But a fun fact, Indian grass is the state grass of Oklahoma because of its importance as a forage species for livestock. So again, two species, really cows really like, wildlife like to nest in it. That is switchgrass and Indian grass.